Have you noticed that camping fees have uh, gone up considerably in the last couple of years and continue to rise? And are you concerned about how this is going to affect your ability to take RV trips in the future? Well, I'm concerned about it because I can remember the days when you could get a site for five bucks. But that isn't happening anymore. Today, the average site will be between $20 and $30, with money going over $40. If you do the math uh, at t even $20 bucks a night, if you, stay, if you go for a month and you pay $20 bucks a night, that's $600. That's a mortgage payment. So you should be looking for ways to mitigate those costs. And I'm going to give you some here that are easy to do. Anybody can do them. And it, they can really save you a lot of money. The first thing I want to mention is that um, I use a Good Sam Club travel guide. I have used it for years, my husband and I, because among the many types of information that it gives, it also gives you contact information, phone numbers, websites, and so forth. And you can go on there for any place that you think you want to stay in the country, and you can call them and ask them what they charge. How much do they charge per night? How much do they charge per week? How much do they charge per month? Do they have long-term stays? What do they charge for that and so forth? You can also negotiate with them, uh, which is good to do at that point because you're not there. They don't have you. You have them. They want your business. And if you, if you t tell them that you will come, if they will give you a deal, many times they will. Not always. But certainly it's worth asking. So always use uh, a Good Sam Club camping guide to help you um, price the, the campsites that uh, you think you want to stay in. The next thing um, that you should do is join a discount camping club. Now there are all sorts of camping, camping clubs. They have all different rules and regulations and amenities and offers and so forth. The one that I have found to be best is Passport America. You can go right online right now at PassportAmerica.com and you can actually see their whole program, their campgrounds. They have like 2,000 campgrounds that are, that are affiliates with them. And what I like about them is if you manage your membership correctly, you can camp for half price. So you can pull into a campground where everybody else is paying 40 bucks a night and you'll pay 20 there are other benefits as well, but that that one really saves you money, especially if you're going on a on a lengthy trip. Whatever you do, wh whichever one of those things you use, you should make it a point to call ahead and lock in lock in your price while you're still home, because if you try and do it when you're there. They have no uh, incentive to, get, to give you a deal unless they're just good-hearted or, or just dying for your business. So always call them, tell them, you know, what you want to do and see what they'll do for you. Sometimes they'll bend, sometimes they won't. Another thing you should do is comparison shop. This means to, to line up several uh, campgrounds in the, in the general area that you want to stay in and see who offers the best deal. And that way, you won't be stuck paying $30 when you could pay $25 or $20 or whatever. Always negotiate unless you think the price is something you're happy with. You can do this by phone. You can also do it in person. It's better to do it by phone. One thing that most people don't realize is that the longer you stay in a campground, the less it's going to cost you because... They charge. They start out charging by the day, then they go by the week. If you stay a week, most parks will give you one night free. So out of seven nights, you'll pay for six. If you stay for a month, they'll give you sometimes half off uh, of the for the whole month. So that's a lot of money. Instead of paying say twelve hundred dollars, you might pay six hundred, or instead of paying six hundred, you might spend three hundred or whatever. Each park has its own setup, and you have to um, do things ahead of time so you're not rushed, you're not tired, you've got a spreadsheet in front of you or however you want to do it. That will save you money too. 
um, <coughs> you should <coughs> should also look for deals. Um, many campgrounds trying to get business for various reasons will offer cut rates. I, I have a, a, a video online right now about that. You may want to take a look at it. And um, you can also try dry camping. Now, I'm not a big fan of dry camping, but sometimes you get stuck. And you can go into just about any Walmart in the country, ask permission, always ask if you can stay there, buy something at the store, be a customer, and you can stay, you can dry camp there for free. Uh, you can also do this at many um, truck stops. And truck stops sell diesel, so you can fill up on diesel. Some of them have water fill stations. You can fill your, your uh, tanks. So uh, be, be thinking about that also. Another option is casino campgrounds. If you go online and look for free casino camping, all kinds of things will come up. And there are still campgrounds, casinos out there. They want you to stay in their sites because they think you'll go in and you'll gamble and you'll lose money. Well, you don't have to gamble. You just have to let them know you're there. So, you know, a free campsite is worth 30 or $40. That's a no-brainer to me. You can also barter. You can barter, um, oh, depends. I used to sell jewelry, and I remember bartering some jewelry for a campsite one night with a campground owner. Just depends on, you know, on who you're dealing with. You can also work camp, which means you, you make an arrangement with a campground at a certain spot of your choice to work X number of hours a week in return for a free full hookup campsite. And that's, that's a good deal all around. It's a, it's a win-win. Volunteering is similar, uh, except that you don't uh, get paid at all when you volunteer. When you work camp, you usually get minimum wage, or you get something in return in addition to your site. Um, there are all kinds of opportunities to cut your camping costs. The one I like the best, though, is the one that where there are free, full hookup campgrounds. And I will discuss these in another video, and that's one you need to watch because that's the one that can really help you a lot when you're camping. So with all that in mind, um, please subscribe. I'm trying to build this site up, and thank you for watching.